And Taiwan has spoken, the results are out, and the verdict isn't something that is pleasing to Beijing. China has said that reunification of Taiwan is a historic inevitability, and the statement has come just moments after the Taiwanese voters swept the ruling Democratic Progressive Party's candidate, Lai ching te to power. And Lai, without mincing any words, has said that he'll defend the self-ruled island's autonomy. So these are some of the scenes of celebrations just outside the DPP's party office. Taiwan's victorious presidential candidate Lai ching te has vowed to defend the self-ruled island from Chinese intimidation. Addressing the supporters after his two opponents conceded defeat, Lai thanked the Taiwanese people for writing a new chapter in Taiwan's democracy. We are telling the international community that between democracy and authoritarianism, we will stand on the side of democracy. Taiwan will continue to walk side by side with democracies from around the world. The Lai, who is the current vice president, delivered an unprecedented third consecutive term for the DPP after a raucous campaign in which he pitched himself as the defender of Taiwan's democratic way of life. Through our actions, the Taiwanese people have successfully resisted efforts from external forces to influence this election. We trust that only the people of Taiwan have the right to choose their president. The European Union has also welcomed Taiwan's presidential election and has congratulated all of the voters. A reaction from China has of course come in where Beijing, remember him in the past, has slammed Lai, the current vice president, as a dangerous separatist. And on the eve of the vote, the Defence Ministry of China has vowed to crush any move towards Taiwanese independence. In an explicit rejection of China's warnings not to vote for him in an election that Beijing had framed as a choice between war and peace, the people of Taiwan have supported a candidate who has vowed to uphold Taiwan's sovereignty. And TVBS's correspondent Vivian Xiao has sent us this report from Taipei. Listen to her. In the wake of a historic victory in Taiwan's presidential election, President elect Lai Ching Te and Vice President elect Xiao Bi Kim vowed on Saturday to follow in the footsteps of President Tsai Ing wen. Addressing international media, Lai emphasized his steadfast commitment to democracy. He thanked his opponents for upholding democratic values and congratulated their parties, expressing eagerness to collaborate for Taiwan's future. This election, a focal point of the 2024 global democratic process, has been a testament to Taiwan's resilience against efforts to influence its democratic proceedings, he said. According to Lai, the results also demonstrate a clear preference for democracy over authoritarianism. More importantly, he stressed that as the president-elect, he has an important responsibility to maintain peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. To this end, he promised to act in accordance with our democratic and free constitutional order in a manner that is balanced and maintains the cross-strait status quo under the principles of dignity. Lai vowed to use exchanges to replace obstructionism, dialogue to replace confrontation, and confidently pursue exchanges and cooperation with China. This will further the well-being of people on both sides of the Taiwan Strait and achieve our objective of peace and common prosperity, he continued. However, the legislative elections brought mixed results for the Democratic Progressive Party. The DPP acknowledged that they have failed to maintain a majority. Lai admitted the need for introspection and improvement, emphasizing the importance of an effective government that aligns with public expectations. In response to the new legislative structure, Lai stressed the importance of open communication, consultation, and cooperation. He plans to integrate the policies of his opponents into his policy framework, aiming to further Taiwan's national development and foster a more inclusive political environment. This is Vivian Xiao for TVBS World Taiwan. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.